Hey Scorpios, and welcome back for another Scorpio Love Reading. Uh, this is a continuation of, kind of like a continuation, but uh, the first one was just to give you an overall forecast of the month of September. And now we're just going to pull you a regular love reading. This is a general, so it's not going to resonate for everybody. Shout out to beautiful Scorpios of the world. Let's see what spirit has for you. Now, you know your overall energy for September is epic here. It's absolutely amazing, Scorpios. And you deserve nothing lesser than what the emperor or the empress deserves. Because you seem like you are all up in this empress, emperor energy, Scorpio. So, we're just going to stay off of that and see what other messages spirit has for you, Scorpio. So, let's see. Now, keep in mind, this is a general it's not going to resonate for everybody to so only take the part that fits. So you have the High Priestess here. Pisces energy. The Knight of Cups. Somebody coming, baby. The Will of Fortune. Your, your time is here, honey. It's like it's your time here, Scorpios. Ten of Cups. Justice. Libra energy. Ooh, Scorpios. What you got going on here? The Sun. Could be dealing with the Leo here. What else for Scorpios here? You got Libra, Leo, and Pisces. And then you got the fixed energy over here. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Taurus here. So let's see. Is somebody secretly making their way to you with this high priestess? They secretly, ooh, the chariots, cancer energy. What else for Scorpio spirit? Mm, Knight of Wands. I tell you what, they show coming, ain't they? They got a... <laughs> it's, ooh, Scorpios. Two of Cups. See, this somebody's on their way in. The Fool card could be an Aries. You got the Hermit card could be a Virgo here. So somebody is definitely coming, Scorpios. Now... Remember, we're even though we're a couple of days shy, we're in the September energy. This is what I'm pulling now. So you got Cancer, you got Libra, you got Leo, Pisces, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. You got Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces with the Knight of Cups, Ten of Cups, Two of Cups, as well as the Cancer card. So this is major here. You got all these major cards. There's somebody coming in here to sweep you off your feet, that child. And you got the Knight of Cups, and you got the Knight of Wands. Now, for some of y'all, you may have a couple of people uh, that's coming your way. Somebody is uh, really, really in a hurry here. It's like somebody wants to get to this Two of Cups love here, Scorpios. So it seems like your soulmate is trying their best. Let's say if your soulmate was giving you problems, it seems like your soulmate is ready to settle down now with this Ten of Cups. So let's see. All right, Spirit, they go judge me here. Somebody's finally answering the call. They're ready to put their work in. They're ready to work you over, Scorpio. They're ready, to, they're ready to work on this Ten of Cups here. All right, Spirit, why is the high priestess here for Scorpios in the September love energy? Um, who is keeping secret? Who is keeping something to themselves here? It could be somebody secretly moving towards you or moving in silence here uh, because they don't want to, they don't want to, uh, it's almost like, you know, it's almost like it's it's good. It's it's only as powerful as it is uh, kept secret, so to speak. Um, you know, sometimes when you start telling everybody your plans, people may try to sabotage it with their energy. So let's see. Spirit, why is the high priestess here for Scorpios? The high priestess. Oof. Death. Scorpio. Ooh, Pisces. Scorpio here. So is somebody coming in here for a rebirth or some or somebody here is uh let's see. Uh you got Scorpio and you got Pisces. Mm. Ace of Pentacles. I feel like somebody's trying to come in for a rebirth, Scorpios. See, because somebody's trying to come in here and balance the scales because and they thought long and hard about it with this King of Swords energy, Scorpios. Ooh. See there? It seems like somebody's trying to make Look, and we've been saying this justice keeps showing up for you. So it's almost like the universe is giving you what you deserve and what you desire, Scorpios. All right, the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Cancel Scorpio Pisces. Ooh, 
Ace of Cups, baby. They coming in for that love here. That's why they coming. You could have somebody that saw the five of wands. See, like, I feel like somebody's about to surprise you because you don't see it coming, Scorpio. You don't see this coming. Strength card. They go strength again. You got strength in the sun. Some of y'all don't see a Leo coming. Some of y'all don't see a Scorpio coming here with this new opportunity. It's going to catch you by surprise here. There's someone here. It could be, it could be an epiphany for them. You know what I'm saying? They could be like, I cannot believe I am about to do this here. But it seems like they are. Now, for some of y'all, you because I saw the five of ones, you got somebody coming in here ready to fight for you, okay? Because you may have another person coming in here too. So let's see what's up with this Knight of Wands here. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries energy. Spirit, why is the Knight of Wands here for Scorpios? Ooh, ouch. All right, the Knight of Wands. Scorpio. Ooh, that hurt. What's going on with you, Knight of Wands? Oh, snap. Page of Swords. They got their eye on you, all right. <laughs> so you got somebody in here sw uh, swarming around your energy, passing by your house, passing by your job. For some of you guys, it's somebody you may work with here. Oh, Scorpio, like I feel like somebody got their eye on you and it could be more than one person here. All right, Spirit, the Knight of Wands. Four of Pentacles. And I feel like it's someone here who is still holding on to you. And like I said, I feel like they ready to bust a move. See that? Knight of Swords and the Nine of Cups. <sighs> somebody is watching you because they're waiting for the right time with their Will of Fortune here, Scorpios. Maybe they're single now. Nine of Pentacles. So you could have somebody here who is watching you here, who is looking at you like, like they finna come in here and give it their best shot. It's almost like somebody saying, look, I'm good enough for you. And it could be somebody here who was coming in here saying that, they, uh, that they're single. They, they've gotten rid of all of the uh, mind games, all of the mental uh, effery here. All right, what's up with this Knight of Wands for Scorpios? What's up with this Knight of Wands? This Page of Swords. I feel like somebody's holding on to you. Nine of Wands come, Nine of Pentacles want to come out. There it is. So maybe they're checking to see if you are single. Maybe this is what it is. They're checking you out to see if you are single, Scorpio. See? They may be trying to see. See, this is someone here checking you out to see if you're available, but they may see that you're single, you're self-sufficient, you're holding back. I feel like this is why somebody's trying to do a sneak attack or a sneak, a sneak up, a sneak on, because they don't know if you're single or not, Scorpio. Is this somebody checking you out to see if you're single, child? Because they're trying to get to you. Ooh, give me another card for this Knight of Wands and this Nine of Pentacles for Scorpios. <laughs> see, because they want to come back. There it goes. Six of cups. See, I told you somebody's checking you out. They looking. Somebody's looking at you. Judgment. So I, I get the impression that somebody is following your social media, Scorpios, or asking friends about you. OK, because they won't back in and they want to know they want to know your status here. So this is someone checking you out to find out if you are single or if you are I guess available because they won't back in. <laughs> oh, Scorpio, that retrograde is retrograde, ain't it? Because that Six of Cups really has been showing up. The Six of Cups, the Justice card, people trying to come back in and, and right their wrongs. Uh, everybody's having a judgment moment. Everybody's starting to have a judgment moment. Their cunt, conscience is bothering now. All right, the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Scorpios? Will of Fortune, Seven of Wands, Guarded, standing your boundaries here, setting boundaries, but I feel like somebody's waiting for the right time, okay? Somebody may be looking at you like maybe you're guarded, especially if you're holding back, if you're in this Nine of Pentacles, where you're letting them know that, look, I'm good. Um, I don't need you, I don't need you, I don't need you, but I want you. Y'all remember that song? 
So they, they may be looking at you like you don't need them. You may have wanted them or desired them, but you definitely do not need them. And somebody is looking at you to see if somebody else has snagged you up because they dropped the ball. Scorpio is what I feel. So you got the Wheel of Fortune and the Seven of Staffs. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. What's going on here? <laughs> Ten of Wands. Oh, snap. It's a burden on somebody here. You know what it could be? The Wheel of Fortune could be that things have turned around now. Now you in this independent energy where you're all about yourself instead of giving out here. And I feel like this is a burden to them because it's almost like, God dang, you, you, you ain't letting up. It's almost like they want to say, Uncle, you know, you know how <laughs> you know how they want to get the referee attention to, to, to tap out. I feel like somebody's like, God dang, Scorpio, you are a freaking beast here. Things have turned around. You used to be loving. You used to be uh, understanding. You used to ask me if I had eaten. You used to try to cook for me. You used to rub my feet. You used to do all these things. Now you're all. Now you're holding back. See, they say you're holding back. And for some of y'all, it could be that you you may be the one that's being quiet here because you got the high priestess and the death card. So it could be you the one that's keeping quiet here and all they're trying to do is they know why you're quiet, I'm sure. See, they trying to come in here and make things right. Now, this could be universal justice for you that you got opportunities coming your way. But this is why it's a burden on them, Scorpios, because now that they're trying to come in and make it right with this justice and this ace of pentacles, they're observing you and you don't need it. See, you holding back. And this four of pentacles represents security, stability, with, as well as the nine of pentacles. So this is what they're looking at. Now that they finally want to get their ish together and make it right with you, you don't need them now. They're trying to come with that big ace, but you already doing your thing here, Scorpio. See, this is what it is. This is what they're, they're, they're finding out while they're watching you or discussing you. But I feel like they are observing you. And this is the conclusion that they're coming up with. That you're good on your own. You're single. You're abundant. You're self-sufficient. And you don't need nobody to help you. If they, they had their chance to help you, they didn't want to. But look, it ain't stopping them, though. Six of Cups, because they still want in. But I feel like this is this nostalgia energy where they're reminiscing and thinking about you. And they want to come back in. But the more they observe you, the more it, it becomes a burden to their soul here. Because they realize with this will of fortune, you're not the same. Things have turned Okay, things have turned around and now it's not in their favor. Looks like it's on you. And with the high priest, some of y'all not even talking to this person here. And then it could be this person's secret feelings that they don't want you to know that they're feeling some type of way. They're feeling burdened down because maybe you're not investing in them anymore. You may not be talking. You, it's, it's almost like. All of the energy and attention you may use to give somebody, you may be giving it all to yourself and they're feeling it and it is bothering them. All right, the Wheel of Fortune for the Seven of Wands and the Ten of Wands. <laughs> Page of Pentacles, see there? See, you intimidate them. This is why it's a burden, see? See there, Scorpios? I'm going to tell you why it's a burden to them because it's not the same the roles have been reversed. The power has been has been over, turned back over to you with this will of fortune. This is a fortunate time. It's good luck here. This is karma. So this this karma is is in your favor and against them because here they are. I feel like this is the universe doing this for you right here, Scorpios. The universe is giving you universal justice here in the sum of something big and extravagant, something that's uh, tangible, something that you can do something with, like opening up a business. You got the Ten of Cups and maybe you're purchasing a new home here. But this is the universe's way of doing it. The reason why they're feeling up uh, overloaded is because look what they're coming in with the Page of Pentacles. Somebody feels defeated already, Scorpio, because they must ain't got much or they... It's almost like, what, what do you do to somebody who seems to have it all? See, this is what it is, Scorpios. You're getting universal justice here, and they're having to watch it, and it's, it hurts. <laughs> because they obviously know the part that they played here. 
but you still got some amazing energy in here. All right, Spirit, why is the Ten of Cups here for Scorpios? Clarify the Ten of Cups. Three of Pentacles. Now, this is somebody here that now they want to work as a team now. See that? And you could be that you may be working with somebody else now to get things done in your life. But I feel like now they're ready to put that work in. But they ain't coming in with much now, Scorpio. Somebody done messed around and let you get your life together. And it does not include them, it seems. Somebody is studying you. They go the star card, Aquarius energy. Now, I feel like this person is wishing for another chance with you, okay? <laughs> They're still holding out hope with their little small offers that go to Page of Wands. This person coming in with the Page of Wands and the Page of Pentacles here, Scorpios. Now, like I said here, you could have multiple people because you got this Knight of Cups. For some of y'all, you may have went and offered your love somewhere else and found out. And this person may be finding this out here. But I feel like this is... Got Scorpio and Leo in here. You got Cancer, Libra. You got Scorpio. You got a lot of Scorpio. You got uh, Libra. You got Cancer. I see a lot of water in here. Give me another card for this Ten of Cups with this Page of Wands. Why is this here? All because this person wants to plant seeds. Mm. See, look at them. They trying to sneak back in your life. There they go. See there? <laughs> and for some of y'all, somebody's trying to sneak back in your life by doing very little. And for some of y'all, somebody's trying to sneak back in your life. And the reason why they're trying to sneak back in your life is because you probably don't want them no more, Scorpios. Give me another card for this Ten of Cups and this Page of Staffs. The Magician. See, they trying to, they trying to get you, honey. I feel like you have superseded somebody here, Scorpios. I feel like you're not showing them love anymore. I feel like you're making things happen in your own life. You're getting attention and things here, see? See, so I feel like this is you, the Queen of Wands here. Eight of Wands, things are moving forward for you. You're getting a lot of recognition, a, mission, a lot of recognition and a lot of attention, a lot of victory and success in your life because you're not emotional, see? This is why somebody feels defeated here, Scorpio. It's because you didn't went on. See, this you. Four of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles. You're holding back because you like you don't need them now. It's almost like when I wanted you, you wasn't around, so I had to move on and make it happen for myself here. Ooh. And this is what they are noticing. See? Nine of Wands and a Page of Swords. They're noticing that you are holding back and that you are financially stable on your own. You're taking care of business on your own. And here they come. Or here they want to come. All right, why is this other justice here? Because it could be dealing with Pisces. It's a magician card. They're trying to manifest you, po thing, because of the star card. They're keeping hope alive. They're still staying hopeful. <laughs> All right, justice for Scorpios. Mm. Libra energy. Justice. Six of swords. Moving away to calmer waters. Moving away. I feel like this is you once again. They go to eight of wands and they go to freaking queen of wands. See? See, you're getting justice, all right. I told you that's why their wheel is here. Because the wheel has took it out of their hands because they were abusing it or they neglected or they mishandled it or they dropped the freaking Scorpio ball. And so as a result, Spirit has put it in your hand. Now, so you, you, you got the juice now, Scorpio. You got all types of things coming your way here, Scorpios. And now all they can do is just watch you and just feel burdened about it, Scorpios. Ooh, and I feel like they want your attention, but I feel like you are paying them dust. See, there they go. Knowing that they done missed out on a very, very good thing here, Scorpio. That's them. This is what they're going to do. Somebody's going to be feeling very, very sad and disgusted here because now the best thing is gone. They done lost control is what Spirit is saying. Um, they should have handled it properly when they had the opportunity to be with you. But it seems like somebody had other thoughts in mind with this Knight of Wands. All right, the Sun card, illumination here, a new beginning, happiness, uh, children, 
Uh, Spirit, why is the sun here for Scorpios? The sun card is the ace of swords, a major breakthrough, victory. This is what you're having and this is what somebody sees. Somebody sees, see? Four swords here. I feel like you may have, see, I feel like you had to sacrifice this relationship for your own good, Scorpio, six of wands. Now, this could be them recognizing all of the victory and success you have in your life here, and they're feeling some type of way here, Scorpios, but I feel like you done shut somebody down here, Scorpios. What they thought they knew, somebody thought they had this relationship wrapped around their finger, and Spirit looked at how they were handling it. And it, really, it's just the 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 um, it's just the universal law here. What you sow, you reap. And obviously, this person was sowing the same old mess to to the point where they done messed around and they done let you level up. And now you don't want or need them for somebody. Now you got the chariot card here, and I feel like they're watching your every move. And every time they watch you, it is a burden to them because they know that. <laughs> they don't have no place in your life anymore. All right, the chariot. Cancer energy. Knight of staffs. Now, either this is them trying to move towards you or you probably got the heck away from this knight of wands energy because you realize this knight of... See, they go the chariot card again. There it is again. All right, Spirit, why is the chariot here? I feel like this person can't move on. See, they trying to come to this. Mm. They're trying to come to the two of cups. Ain't that ain't that something? Now they're trying to now now they're in their feelings. Somebody may be trying to come play on your emotions. Look at here, ten of cups. There it is again. See. So like I said, somebody want they happy back. Please believe you did a lot more for them. I feel like than they did for you. This is why they want it back. See that knight of wands, two of cups, ten of cups. You already got the Ten of Cups right here with the Magician card. They're actually trying to manifest you back, Scorpios. Now you got the Two of Cups again. This your soulmate trying to manifest you, Scorpios. After after they receive in karma, they realize that uh, you, you that that you're no longer wrapped around their finger here, Scorpios. All right, the Two of Cups for Scorpios. Why is the Two of Cups again here for Scorpios? Two of Cups. The hermit card, soul searching. Now, you could have blocked this person. See, I feel like you gone, Scorpio. See? <laughs> Three of swords, ten of swords. This is why you ain't paying this person no d dust. See there? It's almost like you like, screw this connection because all this connection brought me was back betrayal and heartache and pain. So some of y'all done shut it down, and all y'all doing is uh, healing y'all self here. Now, this could be you and this four swords here, too. I feel like instead of putting your energy into this person, I feel like you're healing yourself, and now you don't care because now you're in this queen of wands energy where you're going after what you want, and you're not making any apologies, and now they're finna see this I don't give a crap, Scorpio, now, Scorpios. All right, Scorpio, this is your reading. If it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe.